Now, there's a very specific reason why fasting helps you to live longer. It activates a whole bunch of genes that are longevity genes. They reduce inflammation. If someone is a diabetic or pre-diabetic, they're much improved. And there are even genes that protect the cells against disease. There are six things that can destroy your results, okay? And you need to know about these. Number one, doing fasting for too long. So there's two types of fasting. You have intermittent fasting, and then you have prolonged fasting, where you're doing fasting for a period of time. Sometimes people are gung-ho and they push it. They do the same pattern for so long. Let's say even they're doing one meal a day, right? But they don't feel really good. And they notice that they might be losing some muscle from that. Anytime you feel like crap when you're doing a fast, that pattern is not right for you. So you really have to build up to a prolonged fast. You can't just jump in unless you're pretty healthy. Now, as far as doing a, a one meal a day fast versus a two meal a day, that really also depends on how you feel. Number two, dietary protein. Both the amount of dietary protein and the type of dietary protein are very important. I would not recommend getting your protein from a plant source. I would recommend getting it from animal protein. That is the best protein that you can consume. And out of all the proteins you can consume, red meat is at the top of the list. Then we get eggs, then we get lamb, then we get fish or seafood. Organic pasture-raised chickens are one of the best sources of protein, unless if it's not organic or it's commercial chicken, and those are high in omega-6. Now, as far as the amount of protein, I'm gonna recommend that each of those meals, you have between seven and eight ounces of protein. Now, if you're doing a one meal a day, this is more difficult. You're gonna to have to do like 10 ounces. But realize when you do go down the one meal a day, your body becomes more efficient and the requirement for protein does go down. And there's all sorts of protective mechanisms that kick in that prevent muscle loss and also increase growth hormone. I know some people, if they don't get enough protein, they feel weaker. So you might want to just experiment with that. And then if you had too much protein, that can actually keep you up at night. All right, the third mistake, there's one raw material that you need to know about as well, cholesterol. Cholesterol is needed to make all the sex hormones. And you might also think that I can eat red meat, butter or lard, and I can get my cholesterol that way. But all of those are low in cholesterol. It's like between one and 2%. What is high in cholesterol is egg yolks, liver, and shellfish. Very great for cholesterol. And we need the nutrients that also help make these hormones. Zinc is at the top of the list. It's a trace mineral. Vitamin D in high enough amounts is very important. Magnesium is very important. But the one that you don't need is a lot of calcium. The next mistake, number four, is to force a certain pattern of intermittent fasting that might not align with your body. The best way to figure out what type of fasting pattern you need is to let your body tell you. Let's say you start by skipping your meal, right? And then you have lunch as your first meal and dinner as your second meal. And you do that for a while to the point where you're able to find that you're not hungry at lunch. So you push it further and further forward to the point where you're eating at two o'clock or even three o'clock. So we're shortening this pattern so you have more hours of fasting. But let's say you never really get to a point where you can do one meal a day. That's totally fine because you're letting your body tell you when to fast. And so some people can fast very long and feel great at it, but other people can't. Let your body tell you how long to fast. Next mistake is too much exercise, especially when you're fasting. Some people can't handle a lot of exercise when they're fasting. They should be resting. Too much exercise is gonna to create too much stress. And then what's gonna happen, you're not gonna recover as well. So then we're gonna lose more muscle because the exercise is a stress and the recovery is where all the magic happens. And the last mistake is not getting enough sleep. Most of the repair happens while you're sleeping. 